In our study, we have come down to Genesis chapter 3 to verse 7. And we read there, And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Well, this is certainly a change. Suddenly, they do not want to talk to God. They don't want to see God. They have done something that was contrary to the law of God, and without realizing it, they knew they had done something bad. And so they have disobeyed God and eaten of the forbidden fruit, and their eyes were open, and they knew they were naked. That's a very curious statement. Up until that time, they had lived together as husband and wife without a stitch of clothing on, and there was no embarrassment. There was no reason to believe that that was wrong. And now suddenly they have a different look at it. What in the world has gone on that now they knew they were naked? Now what does that mean that they knew they were naked? They knew they were physically naked, yes, but they also knew that they were spiritually naked, that they had exposed themselves totally to God and that God could look at them and see everything in their life and saw the sin that they had just engaged in. No, the Bible doesn't give us all that detail, but that's the nature of sin. When we sin, we know we sin because that's the way God has designed us. We stand naked before God and we're ashamed. In fact, one of the consequences of sin is shame. And this also came upon them. They knew that they were naked. So they immediately started to try to cover up, cover up. Have you ever done something sinful and then tried to cover up? Well, if it's serious enough, we may try to do that. But we really can't cover up because God sees everything. This is what they found is going to be their experience. They tried to cover up but they really couldn't. They knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Uh, you know, they had lived all this time, till this time, without any covering of any kind and never felt a shame because the shame actually did not come from the fact that they were physically naked, the shame actually came from their own hearts because they realized they had disobeyed God. And so they're trying to cover up in a physical way what they had done. So they sew fig leaves together to try to get some kind of a covering. And that's not going to work at all. Uh, but let's see what's what happens. They knew they were naked, and they heard a voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Secondly, they tried to hide from God. 
they didn't want to get close to him. Have you ever found that when you have been doing something that is not as quite right, that you have a hard time talking to God? You don't want to pray to God. We try to hide from God. And we can't hide from God because God is everywhere. God knows everything that we do. There's no way that we can hide from God. But when we find that we don't want to talk to God in prayer, we find that we don't want to read the Bible very carefully anymore, we are not ready to talk about the things of the Bible We are hiding from God. We are trying to cover our spiritual nakedness. And that spiritual nakedness shows that we're in deep trouble with God. And from the time that we fall into sin, we are in deep trouble. That's why God encourages us to pray. And we can come, oh, Lord God, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I have rebelled. I know that I deserve thy wrath. I know that I have no part with thee because of the way I've been living, but, oh, God, have mercy. And the wonderful thing about the Bible is that it assures us in many places the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God, But in our nakedness and in our embarrassment and in our shame of having sinned against God, we don't even want to talk to God. We think we have blown it, and we have in a real sense. And the wonderful thing about the Bible is that it assures us that we can go back again and again to God Oh, God, have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. And we never, never have to hesitate to cry out because in the first place, it's true. We have sinned. We have sinned. We're not kidding ourselves anymore. We have sinned, and we have to go to God. But it's God who can give forgiveness, and God is a forgiving God. But here we see Adam and Eve. They're not seeing God as a forgiving God. They're seeing their own sin. They have sinned. And now they want to get away from the presence of God. And so we read in verse 8, They hid from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Have you ever tried to hide from God? We all have done that. We all have done that. How do we do that? Well, we don't go among in a forest and find a tree and get behind the tree. But we get busy with a lot of other things. We don't want to think about our relationship with God. We don't want to think about, about what we have done. We try to act like everything is okay. And we can continue to go the way, the path that we've been going. Well, we're going to finish developing that idea in our next study. And then we're going to go on to verse 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And that is the question that God comes to each of us We'll talk about that in our next study.